Well, it All was. Right. Oh. Bella, I'm trying to do this video. It's about you. You should have some respect. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be introducing you to the love of my life, the one thing that means everything to me. This is Bella. I saw a few people do this on YouTube and because I love my dog so much, even though she is a pain in the ass, I thought I would introduce you guys to her. So question number one is, what is my pet's name? My pet's name is Bella. Oh, say hello. Question number two is, what breed is my pet? My dog is a full pedigree bitch. You are a bitch, aren't you really? <laughs> Question number three is how long have you had your pet friend? We got her when she was four months old. And you were so tiny, weren't you? Number four, how did you get your pet? We got Bella through friends. We went out on a drunken night out and um, we arranged that evening to meet this little Doberman who was originally called number one. She was called number one because if you can see, she has a number one here. Show everybody a number one. Look at it, there it is. So she was originally called number one and we arranged drunkenly to see her and my other half, my husband now, boyfriend at the time, said, oh no, we can't have a dog, we live in an apartment. And the next day we met her and I just fell in love immediately. And they say that the dog chooses you, you don't choose the dog and they were totally right on that one. Question number five, Bella is three years old. She turned three on the 6th of January. So now she is officially kind of grown into her body. They say that a, a Doberman is an adult when they hit 12 months old, being one. But for a female dog, when they're fully grown into their body and filled out, it's around two to three years old. So now she's a proper lady. A proper lady. <laughs> Number six, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Oh gosh, where do I start? She is completely food orientated. She likes to sleep in the bed with us, but she comes up around six in the morning for her morning cuddles and you can leave her there. She'll sleep like a human. I will insert a picture here. Every time she sits down, she normally farts quite loud. Um, she loves to chase rocks. She would choose rocks over toys. So if you just throw rocks for her, kill the energy out of her, it's great. What else? What else is quirky about you? You do like 20 tricks. You like to kiss. One of the tricks we taught her was kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, kiss. Um, yeah, she's very, very intelligent. So she can do loads and loads and loads and loads of tricks. And uh, it's a good way for mentally stimulating her because she is a very demanding dog and she's scatty as well, scatty as hell. Uh, Bella has actually got her ears, as you can see, and she's still got her tail. So she is 100% natural. Isn't that right, lady? We got her a new collar as well, purple one. She was on pink, but we thought now that she's a lady, it's time to upgrade. Grade. What else about Bella, personality-wise? She loves chicken. You say the word chicken, she's not, there you go. She likes chicken. She's very vocal. She's extremely good off the lead, is one thing I love about her. But quirky things, you just, you're just an absolute nutter, aren't you? You're just crazy. You're just, <laughs> you're just crazy. I'm surprised that you're staying here this long. So yeah, Bella does loads and loads of tricks. One of the ones we taught her when she was a puppy was bang, so she can do that. She can go through the legs, spin. She's trying to get you to spin. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Other quirky things she does, she likes to steal slippers, shoes. She has an addiction with plastic and she also loves pillows. Now she doesn't touch the ones up here in my bedroom, but for some reason she touches the ones that we have on the sofa. So now we have a sofa with no cushions. No cushions, cushions are not allowed downstairs. And we always tell friends, family, when they come around, please, put, please put your shoes in the shoe cupboard. Question number seven is, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Oh, she means everything to me, to Ben. Um, she is so owner focused and she loves us and she loves to cuddle and you could just lean your whole body weight on her and she wouldn't move. She just loves to love and she's very affectionate. At the same time, she's challenging. She does challenge us and she tries to be the pack leader and yeah, it doesn't work. We, we always win. She's definitely our world. Number eight, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Every single moment with her, as she was a puppy, we always got stopped uh, by people going, wow, she's so beautiful. And still to this day, 
we have that. Maybe because she's got really big ears for a Doberman, maybe because she's got a tail, or maybe because you're just so beautiful. <laughs> I love taking photos and stuff. I haven't stopped taking pictures of her, so I have this whole whole journey of her, which has been really nice. It's, it's really nice to look back and see every single moment with her and I wouldn't change it for the world. She has been hard work, she really has been hard work, but I look back and it was totally worth it. Every second of it was totally worth it. And number nine, this is the last one guys. What are nicknames that you call your pet? So she's called Bella. We call her Bella Boo. Boo Boo, cheeky. She has a cheeky face. When she is being cheeky, she kind of sucks his bit out of here, so cheeky face. Lady Bee, Queen Bee. Queen Bella. There could be a new name for her at any point, but we definitely call her Monkey a lot. Because she's just a cheeky monkey. That's why. Are you a cheeky monkey? Yeah. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. So guys, I hope you liked this video. It's just a quick one. I wanted to introduce you to my baby girl because I absolutely love her. The husband and I would never take a single moment back. So one time when we were walking, um, she disappeared off and started eating something and I thought, oh, maybe she's just eating some grass or something like that. So um, went to go and see if she's all right and then she ran back, everything fine. An hour later, she started acting really funny. She started like being really drowsy and standing up weird and not being able to really do much, just, just really weird. So obviously I panicked, maybe she had eaten some poison or something. So I took her down to the emergency vets. They did some tests on her and he turned around and said in Spanish, she's eaten marijuana. And my face was just like, what? It was like, yep, she's high. And I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe after all of this worry that she was high. When I, the, you know, the worst thing for me was if we got told that she'd eaten poison or something, she'd eaten something she really shouldn't have. But yeah, of course she shouldn't have eaten weed. So my dog has been stoned extremely bad once before and it took us a couple of days to get her back. Uh, I would say normal, she's not normal, but it took us a couple of days to get her back to her normal self. So that's Bella's funny getting high story. If anything, it calmed her down. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, shh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye.